set it up good. You got all the tools, anything that you see here, there's chains, straps. During disasters like this, highly trained search and rescue crews are put to the test. The work that they do is extremely stressful and extremely difficult. Jumping into adrenaline pumping intense situations with the goal of saving lives. You have to dig uh, trenches. Um, you're crawling into small holes. It's very hot. You're in a lot of heavy equipment. 45 members of the Nevada Urban Search and Rescue Task Force braving that danger Tuesday during their structural collapse training. Clear opening. You can bring a backboard. The training right. Simulates natural disasters like hurricanes, tornadoes, and even human caused incidents like car crashes or building collapses. Coincidentally, it's taking place on the eve of the 12th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Many members of this team were deployed to Ground Zero. It fortifies our reason for being here. That we can be deployed anytime, any place. Um, anywhere in the country. During a real emergency similar to this one, a full deployment would involve a team of 80 rescue workers, four search and rescue dogs, and more than 70,000 pounds of equipment. The more you're aware of your tools, equipment, and, and the more trained you are, the more efficient you are doing your job. The annual training lasts an entire week with task force members comprised of current and retired firefighters throughout Clark County and some civilian volunteers. The teams were specifically developed in order to assist in large disasters, specialized training where we can rescue people in these types of situations. It's a job many would call heroic. These brave men called to help save lives during several national disasters. Benice Toussaint, News 3.